Today we're going to dig a little bit deeper and talk about volume and surface area of polygonal prisms. So this will work for any polygon, not just a rectangular prism. So this is a very simple formula, I think, for volume. Volume of any prism can be found by taking the area of the base and multiplying it by the height. We denote the area of the base with this big B right here, a capital B. So most of the time, at least for your seventh grade purposes, the area of the base is going to be given to you if it's not a triangle or a rectangle. So in this case, it's a hexagonal prism. Its area of the base is 65 square centimeters. And the height is 18 centimeters. To find the area, since we're really doing that number of cubes in one layer multiplied by the number of layers, we can just do 65 times 18 and we're going to get 1,170, and since volume, we'll be labeling this in cubic centimeters. Okay, let's look at surface area. Surface area is a little bit more complicated again, but to find the surface area of any prism, you can just add the areas up of all the faces. So in this case, we're going to want to look at what the different faces are. Like you're going to notice right up here in the front, you have a triangle. And in the back, you have another triangle that's exactly the same as that. So let's look at those triangles first. Um, and when we're looking at the triangle area, we're going to do 3 times 4 divided by 2, since triangles are always base times height divided by 2. And that's going to give us an area of 6 square centimeters just for this triangle in the front. And you may notice that the triangle in the back is exactly the same. So we have two sets of 6 square centimeters. If we look at some other faces that occur here, you can kind of see this bottom shape right here is a rectangle. If you look at those dimensions, I'm not sure if it's easy to tell on this screen, but this is an 11 by 4 rectangle. And then if we look in the back, see how well this shows up. This one back here, this is another rectangle. And then on the top, we've got one more larger rectangle like this, all the whole way. So this rectangle in the back, that's going to be a 3 by 11 rectangle. And then on the top, we've got a 5 by 11 rectangle. So we're going to take each of these, the 5 by 11, the 3 by 11, and the 4 by 11. We're going to find the area of each of these. So we're going to get 55, 33, and 44. And then we're going to add the sum of all my faces. So when I add the 6, the 6, the 55, the 33, the 44, all together, I should get 144. And because this is surface area and it's area, we're going to label it square centimeters. Okay. Now it's going to be your chance to try and see if you can find the surface area and the volume of each of these shapes below. So you want to do the volume and the surface area and just be a little bit careful. And then you can come back and check if you agree with me after you pause the video and try. So for this, first of all, it's another hexagonal prism. To find the volume, I'm going to do the area of the base times the height. The area of this base is 41.6 square centimeters. The height is 10. So I'm going to multiply these and I should get a volume of 416 cubic centimeters. To get the surface area, I'm going to find the area of all the faces and add them up. That hexagon on top, it already tells me it's 41.6. And notice there's another one of these hexagons on the bottom that's identical. So it's also 41.6. Then you're going to notice that on each of the sides, there's a rectangle. And since this is a regular hexagon that all the sides are equal, each side of those is 4 with a height of 10. So it's 4 times 10. And since they all match, we can multiply that by 6 to get our 6 rectangles on the side. So this is going to be 240. And when I add 41.6, 41.6, and 240, I get a total surface area of 323.2 square centimeters for the surface area. And then let's look at this um, triangular prism. I think I changed it from your packet where I changed the height to make it something more realistic where that's a 7 now. 
So you might want to just check and make sure you use that measurement. Um, so again, I'm going to find the area of the triangles here. So they are 8 times 7 divided by 2. That's 28. And there are two of those, so there's a 28 and another 28. Okay, and then this is surface area. Um, for the rectangles here, because we have these tick marks here, this means this is an equilateral triangle and all these sides are the same. So each rectangle is 8 by 12, and there are three of those. So each one is 96. Multiplying that by 3, I get 288. And when I add 288, 28, and 28, I'm going to get 344 centimeters squared for my surface area. When I try to find the volume, notice that I've already found the volume, or the not the volume, but I found the area of the base at 28. You notice, zoop for that triangle. And then I'm going to multiply it by the height. If you kind of think of this turned, if, if this triangle right here is the base, then this part is the height, so it's going to be 28 by 12. I'm going to get a volume of 336 cubic centimeters. All right, you'll probably practice a little bit more, but hopefully you were able to get that.